Now, I bet y'all are wondering how I went from this to this. My goodness. Well, long story short, I was recording a video for you guys showing you how I use my purple shampoo. This is my first time washing my hair since I got it color corrected. And when I finish washing my hair, what you see is what I saw. And I was flabbergasted that my hair was no longer the same color as it was when I first went under the sink. This is my villain origin story, for real, for real. Let me get my ass back to black. <sighs> By this point, y'all have already seen the footage on how we got here. Um, yeah, so I was, as you see, I was filming another video um, to show y'all the purple shampoo that I was using on my color treated hair. And yeah, my color rinsed out. So I called my loctician and what she said, she did put a permanent color on there. But so what happened was that second time that I colored my locks, when I went into Memphis to color my locks, she put a permanent color on there. But because this one again was darker than this side, um, I wanted it, it did still didn't look cohesive. So she put a rinse on top, right? And that rinse did not last one wash. It didn't last one watch. And now I'm back to looking like Corolla DeVille where we got the, like there's just no hints of like red. It's more so like an orange. It's more so, it's looking like it's giving Cheeto puff. So, your girl is going back black. That's it. That's all. I've given color as much as I can give it. I've, I have not had the best experience. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to color my own locks. What she told me to do is buy about four boxes of the one in Clairol tones and textures, the one in. So, that's like the natural black in each bottle. Put two drops of red dye. She gave me the red dye. So when it, I'll show y'all all the products. I'm going to the store in the morning since I'm off tomorrow because, yeah, I'm getting ready to go out of town this week. And this ain't going to do it for me. This, this ain't going to do it for me. So that other video is going to be scrapped, of course. But I did, I guess, use some of the footage to show you how we got here because you could literally see in that second that video of me like taking the shirt off my head that I'm like y'all was so stunned when I was I started pausing when I was talking because I was trying to look in the mirror I was like this this don't look like what my head looked like when I went to that kitchen sink so I'm I'm tired I've just I'm exhausted and we're just gonna go back black we just did all this for nothing, and that's a whole nother thing I'll just, I don't even feel like dealing with. So I'm gonna wake up early and go, I'm gonna have to go to two different stores because what I'm looking for is not at, like they have one, so I'm gonna go to a Sally's and I'm gonna go to Walmart because Walmart had the box color for like $4 and something versus like $10, I was seeing it everywhere. It's like a CVS, and then for the red color, I saw it at Sally's. So I'm gonna make two stops in the morning, throw this in a ponytail, go pick out my color. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick to the, the natural black. I don't think there's another color I would even wanna go to. Yeah, no, nah, let's just get back black. So I have colored my loose natural hair before. I've dyed my loose natural hair before and I haven't did it in a long time. I've never colored my own locks, but I've looked at, I think, enough videos to know that I'm just gonna be slathering it on here since we're not worrying about sections and doing highlight. Everything is going black. My, all the black is, everything is going black. Even my black that's black is going black, okay? And I'm gonna make sure I squeeze the product in there. Like, I want it to penetrate. And hopefully, you know, it's all right. I don't wanna turn green. That was my thing. I, she's like, that's why she said put the red dye in it because I don't want to turn green. 
I don't want my hair to go to black to green. We we don't have time for that. So yeah, y'all, I'm finna get ready to go to bed. I'm just I couldn't record earlier when I first did my hair because I was just like, yeah. So let's go ahead and I'll see y'all tomorrow and we're gonna go ahead and get started on getting me back black. See y'all tomorrow. Okay, y'all, it's the next day. It is the next day and I'm about to color my own lock floor. <laughs> How did we get here? How the mighty has fallen, okay? um, Yeah, I'm super nervous, even if I'm just going black. Let me show you what I'm using. So I got four boxes of the Clairol Textures and Tones in one end, the natural black. I got four boxes, so you know, I got six sections in my head. Um, I also got the Clairol uh, Semi-Permanent Color in the 4R Mahogany Red Brown. Um, my lactation told me to get the intense red, but they didn't have it and I didn't have time. But she said this would do because as long as it got red in it. So the box comes with the color. It comes with the activator. It comes with the moisturizer. We don't have to worry about that. Well, the leave-in conditioner, the deep conditioning mask. We don't have to worry about that right now. What we're going to do is pour this into this. And we're gonna add two drops of red into each bottle so your girl does not go green, the ugly green. So yeah, I'm nervous, but nonetheless, we are here. We're gonna go ahead and start putting a little Vaseline around the perimeter, okay? Go do a little Vaseline. So what I'm gonna do because we know that color takes a little more time. Um, you know, with it might take a little more time with my colored locks. So I'm gonna put all that up in there. So I'm gonna try to go through my entire head and color my colored locks first, like dye those first, and then go back and color the rest of my head. That is the goal. Again, I got four boxes and I'm not, I didn't open them all at once. I'm opening them one at a time because once you open it and it start processing, you got like 30 minutes before it, it oxidizes. So yeah, we are going to try our best. Uh, I'm nervous as heck, but at this point I can't go around looking like this. Like, no. So I got my black t-shirt on, but it's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Bought me an extra pack of gloves because I really didn't want to use the gloves that came with the box because, you know, those be like not that good. I only got one pack of these. I thought I said two came in here. I thought I said two came in here, but no, just two gloves. <laughs> So, yeah, let's go ahead and get our gloves on. Got them in the small. I got the color from Walmart. Um, they were like $5 versus getting them somewhere else, and they're like $8 and $10. So I did save a pretty penny. Y'all know I'm a Tarjay girl, but hit do what we gotta do. Okay. I'm nervous as hell. I'm gonna try to get as much footage as I can, but I really am trying to concentrate on this. That That is it. That's all my focus is right now, is concentrate on here. I think I'm gonna start in the back and again, do my color locks and then work my way up. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, y'all, we are starting off with mixing our color and adding the two drops of red semi-permanent dye and shaking it up really good now that first time it looked like i added a little too much and i probably did but you know what that's my business so at first i'm starting off with just really one strand one colored lock at a time and trust me i do not stay this way because i did not have time for all that i was just like it was too hard for me to try to separate the locks like i did the best i can with focusing on the color first 
But if I grab some black ones in the midst of doing that, that's just what it was. But yeah, you're gonna see me just work through my head for one half of my head. I use one bottle. The second head, I use another bottle and I use a third bottle to just try to fill in any gaps that I saw. I did that off camera as far as like looking through my locks, but I definitely suggest look through your locks because there were little pieces of orange and red, like just little pieces that you would miss. I would say if you can get a mirror behind you, have a mirror so you can look at both because I didn't have one. So I had to FaceTime my friend so she could tell me if she saw anything on FaceTime. And to me, the color took really, really well. It started going like a kind of chestnut color, but it turned to me very, very quickly. And it was easy to work through. The smell wasn't too strong. I was a mess. I had everything everywhere. I was like, oh my goodness. I even got some on my floor, y'all. Like, just from squeezing the product, like, some of it fell on the floor. So, if you have any recommendation, at this point, it might not matter because I've tried everything. I've tried alcohol, uh, nail polish remover, bleach, you name it. And that's why it ain't coming off, off that vinyl wood floor. So, but if you know something that I can use, let me know. I should have put something down. But so, I would recommend put some down on your floor. Put some down on your floor. On the surfaces that did get color just from me, like, smoothing it through and it was just flicking everywhere, um, that stuff came off with alcohol. Alcohol did great. I got, like, a paper towel and used alcohol, so you shouldn't have any issues with that. Okay, y'all. Uh... Maybe it looked like a murder scene around here. I didn't cleaned off my neck, but it, well, most of it, it looks like a murder scene has happened in my bathroom. So I have put two processor caps on that I've been, so my time was supposed to be done like 30 minutes if I went by the box at 11.25. It is 11.50 because I went through and saw some spots that I had missed, which you know, and I added some more, so which I let it process a little more. I had FaceTime one of my close friends, and it would be like, "Girl, look at the back of my head." It took me to see, so she let me some. She saw some spots, and I had to go in there and color. So that's why I kept it on a little bit longer than the time. But pitch pop, oh gosh, I hope I got everything. If not, I think I got majority. If not, I think I probably, probably got like ninety eight percent. So what I'm gonna go do now? I know I look so crusty. <laughs> I'm about to go rinse it out with cold water or lukewarm water. And then I'm going to put in the intensive hydrating mask. I got I only used three boxes. I used three boxes over my entire head. Um, so I'm about to go put this and then let it sit in my head for about, excuse me. I'm going to let it sit in my head for about, they said three minutes, but I probably do it for a little longer because... Yeah, I, I kept this on a little longer, so I feel like I need to moisturize a little longer. Um, so I'll probably keep it in for about 30 minutes, enough for me to kind of jump in the shower, wash my face, and get cleaned up. And then, so when I rinse that out, I will come back and show y'all the final result. So, y'all, your girl is going back black, baby. All oh, this, it took all this to go back black. It's just, oh my God, it's just, it took too much. Let me go ahead and get to the sink and wash this out with cold water put this on i need to get two more processing caps. i got two processing caps on and i'm ready to rest this out so i'll see y'all after i'm done deep conditioning i'm back y'all today is the day so before i do the reveal after i did my i left the conditioner on y'all probably like an hour to be honest and then I rinsed it out, um, and then I put it in another t-shirt, and it's been sitting up here for like another hour and a half. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and look at the review. Hi! <laughs> and she is black, okay? She is black, she is black. Let's give a little turn around so you can see. Bam, bam, y'all. 
I don't know if I got, I tried my hardest to get every piece of lock that I could find with even a smidge of color. And I'm hoping I got it. If not, then that's just what it's gonna be. But y'all, she is black. She is a natural black because I didn't, it looks very jet black, even though I did the natural black, the one end, it still kind of gives a little jet black, but I think because it's just, it's black, like, but yeah, y'all, I'm, I'm so happy to be back black. I was so just unhappy with the colors, both colors. I was very unhappy with how it looked on me. You know, I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. So had, when I washed out my hair in the video I was filming with y'all and it didn't fade, I probably would've kept the color in a little longer, but yeah, it rinsed out. And I think I said it prior, but we had put a permanent color on and then she put a rinse on top of it um, twice to get it that, you know, reddish color. But that was my first wash, y'all. And that just rinsed right on out. And then it was back to looking like how I wasn't really satisfied when I first, when I got it colored the second time before we put the rinse on there. So, yeah. Uh, I don't think there's any green. I don't think so. I think I put enough red. Y'all, that first bottle, I was like, I definitely put more than two drops because it was like a squirt and it was my first time. So I was just like, oh Lord. But the other ones I did do like two drops. So yes, 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 yes. We are back at it. We are back at it. We are back at it. Now I'm finna get ready to just style my hair, throw it in some braids and that's it for the video. We're back black. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> like, comment, share. Uh, follow me on TikTok and on Twitter. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.